Welcome to Simple Software Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create mailing labels in Word from an Excel list. So first thing we want to do is make sure that we have column headers at the top of each column identifying what is in each column. This is going to be useful as we are creating our mail merge. So you need to be able to match up what is in each column uh, so we can find it uh, later on. Um, second, we want to make sure that zip codes are formatted correctly. So if you have any zip codes starting with zero, we want to make sure that that zero shows up so your mailing doesn't get uh, messed up. The way you do that, just select the column, right click, click on format cells, and you can go down to special and click on zip code and that will make sure that everything is formatted correctly but it doesn't hurt to do a, a second check here um, next you want to make sure that we are that you make note of which tab in the sheet if you have multiple tabs you want to make sure you know which tab your data is on because you will need to know that later on and finally save your file somewhere that is easy to access because we need to pull it up once we have word open so make sure you know the file path so even save it on your desktop if that's what's easiest for you so once you have all of your data all uh, entered in here. The next thing we need to do is open up a blank Word document. So we'll just select blank document and here we go. So first thing we want to do is click on the mailings tab and we want to um, click on this arrow under start mail merge and we want to select labels. Now it also helps to know which labels you're using. So if you're using Avery um, you want to find that on list. So what we can do is under label vendors you can find your label. So if I'm using Avery uh, 5160 I can select Avery US letter from the label vendor list and then under product number you can scroll through but there's a ton of stuff on here. So what I, I do is I just click on this first one or it doesn't really matter which one and I just type in 5160 or whatever your label number is. That will pull it right up on the list make it real easy for you. So once I've found my label on here and I've selected, uh, I've, I've just made sure that this matches my labels, then I'm going to click on OK. And here are my labels. So I should have a blank page as you see right now. So the next thing we need to do is we need to tell it who we want to uh, you know, populate these fields with. So the next thing is on the mailings tab we want to click on select recipients and select use an existing list. So this is why you got to remember where your file is saved. So go ahead and find that Excel file, click on it and then click on open. And now it's going to ask you which tab that your data is on. So even if you got to name the, the, the tab, use this list, um, whatever you're going to remember. So go ahead and click on that tab. We want to make sure this box should be checked, but if you have that, that row of uh, column headers, make sure that box is checked. It should be by default. So we're going to click on OK. So this is what your document should look like at this point. So this first cell here should be empty and then each one should say next record and that's exactly how we want it to look. So now what you can do is start adding your fields. So if you want just a real quick way of doing this, you can just select address block and what that's going to do is it's going to have this predefined um, address block. You have a bunch of different options here that you can sort through, um, but probably the default one is going to work for what you want to do. Um, now, if you maybe named your column header something a little unconventional um, or this information doesn't quite match up correctly, what you can do is click on match fields. Okay, and then so if I had not, you know, if I had named this F name instead of first name, I can match it up right here. So just make sure that first name, last name, any fields you have match up how you have them on your sheet and then click OK. So I'm going to do something a little different. So this is going to work for a lot of things, but if you want to format certain things, so if you want the um, recipient's name bold or larger or something. I'm going to show you what to do. So I'm going to click cancel. If you want to do it this way, go ahead and click OK, but I'm going to cancel. So what we're going to do here is 
so we're clicked in this first box here we're going to go here to insert merge field so this is going to pull all of those fields that those column headers that I have so it makes it really easy so I'm going to select first name and I'm going to add a space because it doesn't know that I want a space between um, my words I have to tell it so then last name I'm going to hit enter go down to the next line I want to add address hit enter go to the next line then add city comma space state space and then zip code okay so now if you wanted the name larger you can just highlight what you want there go to the home tab click on bold maybe we want to make it a little bit bigger maybe we want to make all of this a little bit bigger so it's easier for my letter carrier to see so if that looks pretty good to me and I can change the the um, spacing the styling whatever you want to do just make sure that it's gonna lay out nicely on here and then if you have people with long names or long addresses that you you make sure to be aware of that and leave enough room so we're gonna go back to the mailings tab here and what we can do now is we can take a quick preview okay or sorry nope we're gonna update sorry so we want to click update labels so now this is gonna fill all of the labels now you notice they look a little crazy we've got stuff hanging off it looks like maybe it won't print all right don't worry it looks that way because we have next record and this is exactly how we want it to look so what we do now is we do a preview so we can see what the preview looks like so go ahead and click on preview and we can see how each label is going to look so this is a great way to ensure that the labels look exactly how we want them we can navigate using these arrows here go back and forth and just make sure that they look fine okay if if they look wrong you can go ahead and click on preview results again it's going to take you back to this so if you do need to make adjustments maybe we need to you know make these a little bit smaller we can go back to mailings we can click update labels make sure anytime you make a change that you click on update labels you can do that preview again there we go okay so they look pretty fantastic so if you are satisfied with how this looks last thing that you need to do is finish and merge so I don't like to just print these off of this I like to have one last look at them so what I do is I click on finish and merge so if you're ready just to print it as is go ahead click on print documents and be done with it okay but if you're like me get a little paranoid want to make sure it looks great I click on edit individual documents okay we're gonna merge we want to look at all here and I'm gonna click OK and it's gonna create this new document here so I have a second document called labels okay so I can see all of my labels here and now if I do need to do something special to an individual label I can do that so then I can go ahead and file print um, take care of that if if they're all messed up you can go back to your original document you can make those edits you can click on update preview and and do it again but that's just a great way to ensure that everything looks exactly how you want it to so I hope this was helpful to you don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more helpful videos leave me a like or comment if you like this if it was helpful or if you have questions or ideas I love your ideas this is this actually came from um, an idea so love it so much and have a great day thank you so much for tuning in